In Consumer Corner, we take a look at trends creating a buzz online in China. On today's show, we'll discuss air pollution masks. Air pollution is real, and the Chinese government has only recently been willing to admit that it's a problem. But that doesn't mean they will be making sweeping measures to cut out the biggest polluters anytime soon, because that would get in the way of their narrow view of progress. Economy first, breathing second. According to the Chinese government last year, the average number of smog days in all cities across China were nearly 30 days. This makes 2013 the most polluted year of the past 50 years. Over 100 big and medium-sized cities in 25 provincial level divisions have had days where the smog has reached hazardous levels. To put that into perspective, almost every single part of China is dealing with gray skies filled with toxic chemicals. Many lived in denial of the pollution and its dangers and started to believe it was a foreign conspiracy, like the air was just foggy and as if that deep phlegmy cough was a coincidence. But since the government recently recognized it as an issue of concern, a huge number of people have started to buy protection. Face masks, specially made for fighting pollution, became super hot items. People were buying up any mask that claimed it could block PM2.5 particles. When searching PM2.5 masks on China's online search platforms, thousands of products with different brands pop up. The prices range from a few cents to hundreds of dollars. Many online stores have made tens of thousands of deals over the past month. A recent report issued by China's Consumer Association is implying the pricing system of masks is in a world of chaos. Many products are much more expensive than they should be considering their quality and effectiveness. A study done by the China Consumers Association tested 37 sample masks bought from different supermarkets, shopping malls, pharmacies, and online stores. The prices range from 9 cents US to 32 US dollars. The results showed that only 9 out of 37 masks actually block 95% of the 2.5 size particles. And most of these masks are single-use disposable ones, rather than those with reusable filters. The most expensive mask did not reach a 95% mark for filtering air pollution. The most expensive one was a rubber mask from a Singaporean company called Toto Bobo. One mask is priced at $32. Each of their filters is sold for nearly $2. The filter is replaceable, so the mask can be reused. However, the filtering effect of this $32 mask is the same as one of a 16-cent product by a Chinese brand called Poacon. And another 30-cent disposable medical mask from Japan called Iris was able to filter out more pollutants than Toto Bobo's product. But the Toto Bobo mask is the one listed as the best seller on Taobao, China's largest shopping website. Many net users were not surprised by the results of this report. One net user commented, quote, The results did not surprise me. It's a common thing for Chinese manufacturers to sell low-quality but lucrative products. Most hot-selling products are sold at high prices because of their successful marketing and advertising strategies, rather than good quality. Another net user described the Chinese market in a playful tone, quote, The Chinese authorities finally have started to look into domestic face masks. As this trend continues, many foreign brands like 3M would seize the opportunity to raise prices, and more fake foreign brands will show up as well. CCTV, China's state-owned media, also ran a story on low-quality masks recently. It investigated several villages located in the city of Jiaozhou in Shandong, which produces nearly 80% of the country's civilian-use masks. Last year, the production volume from these villages reached 900 million masks. However, most manufacturers in these villages are actually small family workshops with poor sanitary conditions. Currently, China does not have any national production standard for the civilian use mask. Many manufacturers and sellers are using different standards, and they're almost all claiming their products are good at filtering PM2.5 sized particles. Many consumers believe the filters inside of a face mask play the most important role in preventing air pollution. Normally, the filter should contain at least three layers with two non-woven fabrics and one layer of activated carbon. Some sellers even claim their products have more than five layers of activated carbon for preventing 90% of the pollutants. But in order to save on the cost, many manufacturers do not use any activated carbon, but instead use cheap fabrics to reach the same weight as activated carbon layers. One net user criticized, quote, CCTV is missing the point here. The real reason common people are suffering is not face masks. They should have blamed those enterprises polluting the air, rather than the sellers making their living from these small masks. Another net user seemed pretty depressed, quote, Not wearing a mask, I might die from hazardous smog. But if wearing a mask, I might die even faster because of using low-quality products. What kind of world am I living in? Is there any safe way to live in China? I'm really tired of struggling to survive in this country. For the average Chinese citizen, there's only so much one can do. Obviously, the best way to handle the pollution problem would be to stop it at the source. But that would involve having powerful people stand up to some of the biggest industries in the country, which are keeping many powerful people rich.